Hello everybody, this is Dreaming of Year to kick off round one for Group F. Oh, we're almost done with the first round of group games, and it is time for this quartet of matches. So up first in this group, we're going to see the semi-finalists from last year, Dino Hunter, take a crack at Team Allo. Then we have two newcomers in Benjamina and Martin Soto going at each other. Blood Moon taking on Dino Hug and all that before our main event of this evening, the return of Anvil going up against Heady. And yes, Anvil has competed in a previous tournament, similar to Gazmaniac, but they haven't entered in, a, in the last few. But that match is the last match of this session, so we're going to move, get started with our first, which is Dino Hunter and Team Alla. Alpha Slash! Okay, no one has Earth Dinosaurs, I believe. But in the blue red corner for Dino Hunter, we have Spiny. Just regular Spiny. Dino Hunter had a really good tournament last year, their best ever showing in my tournaments, finishing fourth. Got some big wins in there as well, but that was 2v2. And Dino Hunter's 3v3 record is, well, pretty rotten, let's be honest. Right, coming in for Team Allo, making their official debut. We have Allosaurus, the Blitz type Allosaurus, so you know what that means. Team Allo will be going for two crits. We'll see if that pays off. It's a guy. Now, even though this guy's got all wind types, I do like the look of his movesets. You know, I don't think they're dumb movesets. I think they're very smart movesets in my opinion. Right, there's the uh, scissors. Oh, that's a tie. Good start for Dino Hunter there. Very good start for Dino Hunter again. The first hit on the board. Denying those crits and getting some decent damage in. So yeah, I know you're thinking, okay, a team full of aloes is going to be a death sentence for this guy. Not necessarily. I think in his entire squad, he's only got one win move. So I, I think this guy is, is very smart in his movesets. And that was a very good hit by Team Allo. That's a tie. The ties will suit Dino Hunter though. This spiny is super tie type. It has the tie attack. What's interesting is I think this team of Dino Hunters is probably the best team that they've had for a 3v3 tournament. Yes, I know Spiny's just been killed, but... You know, it's, it's been even so far. Okie dokie, coming in next for Dino Hunter's second Dino. We've got a Sign Raptor. Pretty an interesting choice to say the least. We'll see how it goes. It's one of the more balanced wind types in the game. A lot of wind types have very powerful crits. Sign Raptor, not so much. But this Sign Raptor is heroic type, so that probably helps it, to be honest. But it is Team Allo in the lead early on. And Dino Hunter, well, it's, it's been back and forth, but Dino Hunter needs to start getting hits here. Otherwise, he could find himself 2-0 down very, very quickly. Okay, there's a crit, and that should be that for Allosaurus. Boosh, boosh. Good strike back by Dino Hunter, that. Right, come in for Team Allo's second Dino. It's, uh, well, you've guessed it. Allosaurus, but this time, Allosaurus Atrox. The dinosaur that gave Dino Hunter so much success last year. He's got to face it this year. <laughs> and, well, there's the uh, solo wind move, the Hurricane Beat. Bit of an odd choice on Atrox, to be honest, but, you know, it is what it is. That's a tie. Ooh, Dino Hunter gets the next hit on the board, coming back into this contest. Not much damage done there, though. That's another tie. Ooh, that's another hit from uh, Allo. An Alpha Dice, and it's a five. That's going to be big damage to the Sign Raptor. That might even be lethal. And it is. And Team Allo extends the lead. Right, coming in for Dino Hunter's third Dino, we got Pachycephalosaurus. 
and I think this is the first time that Dino Hunter has used a secret dinosaur in any tournament, to my knowledge. So we'll see how this plays out. He's going to need to come back here, Dino Hunter, because he's, you know, he's not looking good so far. Team Allo are looking pretty good in this match. I have to say, I've been impressed. Oh, that's going to be Hurricane Beat. Is this going to be Allo's win? Boosh! 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 I like the two Alpha Balls just behind it. <laughs> Well, Dino Hunter's going to need a comeback here. And I don't think he's going to get it. Is it a bonus point win for Team Allo? Oh, that's a one. Okay, Dino Hunter getting out of the jail. Big time there. But he needs to get hits on the board. And there it is. I think maybe, I don't know, Atrox is quite weak. Look at that. I still didn't kill it. But there it is! It's Team Allo's victory! And it's a bonus point victory to start their tournament campaign. A very impressive victory against last year's semi-finalist, Dino Hunter. Dun, da, da. And Dino Hunter's poor record in 3v3 matches goes on. Right, let's move on to our second match. Right then, in the red corner, making their official tournament debut for Benjamina, we have got a Super Carnotaurus. Uh, await the mode on two. Okay, we've got no secret dinosaurs, so no terrain advantages in this matchup. This will be interesting to see how the await the mode plays out. I think it's going to play a big factor in this matchup. Right, in the blue corner for Martin Soto, we've got Paki Rhinosaurus. Honestly, a, a difficult match to call this one. I feel like, as I said, the Awaker mode will probably have be the deciding factor in who wins and loses this match. But let's see how this plays out and let's hope for another classic. Ooh, and his Packy Rhinosaur is getting off to the good start there. Okay, that's once. Ooh, Carnotaurus responds with a crit and then the Enkua. And we're going to see the Awaker mode right away. The Limitor Fusion! And he gets the hit. That's going to be a massive hit from the Carno. Not really. Didn't really do any damage, to be honest. But this Jet Shuriken will increase the damage. Will it kill Pachyrhinosaurus? Oh, it almost did. So even after all that, it's only a slight lead for Benjamina. Because after the Awaken Mode activates, the Dino's health is cut in half. But it is Carnotaurus giving Benjamina an early lead. Right, coming in next for Martin Soto's second Dino, we've got Salty Saurus. Now, one thing I'm sure you all know about Saltosaurus is how hard it can hit. Especially that crit. In fact, all three of Martin Soto's dinos have very strong crits. Of course, that does come with risks. It's double-edged sword, really. If you get the crit, then awesome. But if you don't, then... Well, you're, you're going to be in trouble. And so far, it is Benjamin are getting the big hits. Oh, it's going to be a big hit. Ninja attack. That's probably going to be lethal damage to the Saltosaurus. And Benjamina is looking really strong in this match. Oh, it's not. Okay, Saltosaurus, you've got a chance to redeem yourself here, mate. And he does. Big Hydro Cutter coming in here. Like, for a 1400 strength dinosaur, Saltosaurus hits so hard. And that is going to be lethal damage to the Kano. Right, coming in next for Benjamina's second Dino, we got Super Saratosaurus. Awake a mode on two. <laughs> we'll see how this one plays out. Ooh, I, I thought that ninja attack would be lethal, but it wasn't. And that big hydro cutter, could that 
could that help get Martin Soto back into this contest? Okay, so the Saurus does go down, but let's not count Martin Soto out yet, because their next Dino is a Fire type, and it'll have type advantage over this little ratty thing. And it's going to be a big type advantage because that Dino is Sorofaganax. One of the one of the hardest hitting dinosaurs in the entire game. I mean, look at that power. And it's, I believe it's got the death fire as well. So Martin Soap is not out of this yet. But he does need to strike back quick. And that's not good, that's an attack boost. The Ceratosaurus will take that. Right, that's one. And he's still got the Awaken Mode to count on if he needs it. But I don't think Mark Benjamin might need it. Oh, oops, <laughs> I already tapped the buttons. I wasn't expecting the Jet Shuriken. <laughs> oh, and Deathfire did not get triggered either, so Deathfire's gone. Is this going to be a bonus point win for Benjamina? Ooh, not yet. The Faganax gets that hit. Well, this would be an impressive comeback. Ooh, ooh, hello. No bonus point win for Benjamina. We got the Magma Blaster, which is going to be lethal for the Ceratosaurus. Right in his face. Right. I mean, Benjamin are still in the driving seat because a tie will kill the Faganax. But, they might be getting a bit nervous. Okay, coming in third, we got Kakarodontosaurus. Not much to say, to be honest. Kakarodontosaurus, one of those more balanced dinosaurs in terms of attack strength. All Benjamin are needs is a tie and he'll get the win. But can he get that tie? The odds are in his favour. And Faganax is getting another hit. Ooh, things are looking a bit twitchy. Cause a big hit from the Faganax and all of a sudden, things won't be looking comfortable. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Benjamin are getting it done. I tell you what, that Faganax put up a good fight in the end, but it just had too much to do. And it is three points for Benjamin are. Right, on to our third matchup, shall we? Ooh, interesting field. Right, coming in in the red corner for Blood Moon, we've got a T-Rex. Seems to be a very good starter for Blood Moon. For those of you who have seen their past uh, tournament campaigns, they always start with T-Rex and it always seems to do well. Okay, in the blue corner, representing Dino Hug, we have got Mini King. I think this is the first time this thing has ever been used in this in my tournament. So, well, he's going to have his work cut out going up against our T-Rex. And I should point out that both our guys do have a secret dinosaur, so Ter Blood Moon and Dino Hug will get terrain advantage in this match. Hmm. I feel like if the T-Rex gets some early momentum, I do feel do fear for Dino Hug. And well, there's a crit right off the bat. <laughs> okay, count the blitz, he might need that now in a minute. <laughs> oh, this is classic Blood Moon again. Big hits early on. Ooh, that's a tie, the counter blitz is gone, but the, the plasma anchor does activate you. A good good response from Dino Hug. Gonna reel in the T-Rex. I'm gonna punt it behind him and reduces attack power. At least I think it does. <laughs> oh, well, there's another crit. There goes Mini King. <laughs> Classic Blood Moon game. Big crits early on. Oh, look at his little belly button. Okay, well, the, this Apatosaurus will get the next hit because it does have terrain advantage, so... You know, it's not all doom and gloom for Dino Hug. And coming in next, it is a Power Source. Hmm, this will be interesting. Sugoi! 
So the T-Rex will take damage here, and it probably will be within killing range. So we've got the uh, elemental power. I think that's defense boost as well. Good combo there from Dino Hug. Yeah. Gonna need that elemental power to survive the big hits from the T-Rex. Although the burning dash is gone, which won't really help Dino Hug. Ooh, that will though. That's a crit. And it's adios to the T-Rex. And we are level pecking. But Apathosaurus's defensive capabilities and elemental power have been maxed. Will that be a telling factor in this match? Right, coming in next for Blood Moon, we've got Uteraptor. And yeah, having that elemental power maxed up as well, given this Uteraptor has all win moves, is going to be... That's a big advantage for Dino Hug. And now, I do feel like Dino Hug is in the driving seat here, but can he take advantage of it? Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, interesting. Another crit from Blood Moon, but with that elemental power and defense boost maxed up, will this crit do much damage? I think it'll do some, but not too much. Yeah. And now, to make matters worse for Blood Moon, the secret move has been triggered. That's going to be big trouble for Blood Moon, yeah. Especially since this hit's going to do minute damage. Look at that. This Apathosaurus is a health tank. Okay, I actually don't think this will be default. With the secret move triggered, this isn't going to be lethal. Blood Moon is getting hit, but not doing much damage. I'd be surprised if this is lethal. Yeah, look at that. In fact, I think a Apatosaurus could tank another hit. <laughs> this thing just won't die. That's a tie. That tie will finish it, though. And Blood Moon has a decent lead. And he's still got the terrain advantage to use with Deinonychus, should he need it. So things looking good for Blood Moon in this match. Right, for Dino Hub's third Dino, we've got Aloatrox. Interesting, it doesn't have any win moves. Which, let's be honest, given all the fire types in this tournament, is probably going to be to its benefit. Oh, that's a big crit power. Four crits Blood Moon has got off in this map. Actually, no, five. Got two of the T-Rex, and this is the food tornado tops. <laughs> Dino Hug is getting crippled by the crits. He needs to, he needs a hit quick. Oh my god. Oh Another hit. It's a Blood Moon battering for Dino Hug. Oh, that's a tie. Just can't seem to hit this Uteraptor, it's too quick. Another tie. Is this going to be the bonus point for Blood Moon? There it is. The bonus point win for Blood Moon. In quite an impressive display. Surprisingly, with Uteraptor for once instead of T-Rex. As for Dino Hug, well, they had a decent start. The Apatosaurus did okay, but it just couldn't get any hits. And that is a big bonus point win for Blood Moon. Now then, on to our main event. The long-anticipated return of Anvil. Right, the ho then. In the red corner, representing Anvil, we have got a DeSantra Rurus. And we are on the Dirt Plains field, which is a good news if you are heady. Very good news, actually. Because in the blue corner, representing Heady, we have got Triceratops. This Triceratops will have terrain advantage, which means it will get the first hit in this match, and it will be a crit. It'll have type disadvantage, though. Hmm. I feel despite the type disadvantage, I still fancy Heady in this matchup. Not the easiest start if you're Anvil. Right, I 
think that's it for terrain advantage, because Anvil doesn't have a lightning type. Ooh, but Anvil does get the next hit, and it's a Venom fan. Yeah, So the Triceratops will get some poison. Good strike back there by Anvil. Ooh, another hit. Another Venom Fang. And I do believe they stack, so this will stack the poison damage as well. Heady feeling the Venom so far in this match. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ah, maybe that's only on poison types. Ooh, but Triceratops does get a big crit on the board. It's a Thunder Driver. So that's two hits. Two hits each so far. Yeah, mosh. And we're very even so far. Ooh, but it is. Oh my god, that's a third Venom Fang. <laughs> and that will be all she wrote for Triceratops. She just couldn't take the poison. Well, I wouldn't really call it a lead, to be honest, because a tile killed the Sandrovers. Right, coming in next for Heady's second dino, we've got Spinosaurus. Because, of course, we have Spinosaurus, because Spinosaurus is everywhere in this tournament. In fact, I think every group has this one team with at least a Spinosaurus in it. I mean, I'll have to double check everyone's teams again to be sure, but I'm pretty sure. Loads of the buggers. And it is the most popular dinosaur in this tournament. And yet, there it is. Down goes to Sanchorus. Right, coming in next for Anvil, we got Edmontosaurus. Hmm. I believe it is revival time. So that will definitely could definitely help Anvil if there's a tie. Ooh, that's a big hit from the Spino. Heady striking back. Not much damage done though. That's probably its weakest move against Edmontosaurus. But the Futaba Cannon has been triggered. Right, that's a tie. Oh, that's going to be a big hit because of the heroic buff. And Heady's retaken the lead. Ooh, but... Edmontosaurus striking back with a crit. It's going to be a death grind. Oh, boosh! Pounding the spino into the dirt, but triggering the aqua vortex. Oh, but it doesn't need it, because instead, Spino's going to get the water sword, and that's going to put Heady in the lead. Hmm. big problem for Anvil here, because this Albertosaurus will have type disadvantage. Then going up against a Spino is not a good idea. In fact, given that Spino is heroic type, if it gets off a water sword, that could be all she wrote for Anvil. Well, that's the goal for Anvil now. Do not get hit by a crit. Because that crit will do a severe amount of damage. And probably will give Heady the win. Okay, Spino does get the next hit. And now definitely a crit will kill her. Ooh, but Albertosaurus responds with a crit of his own. Still not lethal though. Needs to kill this Spino quick. Oh, there's another hit. The T-Rex will have a much easier time. Is this going to be Heady's win? Is it going to be a bonus point win? No, it's not. Ah, oh, we got the Trudons. Coming in for the move block. Not that they're needed because the Spino is going down. But, Heady is definitely in the driving seat though. Coming in third for Heady, we got a T-Rex. Interesting that they got it in third. 
<laughs> I'm not as hard hitting as Blood Moon's T Rex, I'll admit. But it's still a hard hitting brute. And one hit from the T Rex will end this game. And, ooh, nope, that's a tie. Nullifying the paper move. But it doesn't matter because Hedy's going to get the win anyway. And it's Hedy's victory. And Anvil tasting defeat. Um, that was an interesting mean of it. It went back and forth at the beginning. And then Hedy kind of got the lead. And that was probably the turning point was Hedy getting that lead and... Anvil just couldn't pull it back. But yeah, good main event. Good way to end round one for this group. We'll have a look at the table and end the session. Right, that's how our table looks for group F. Uh, not much to say. We had Blood Moon and Team Allo getting off to bonus point winning starts. Hedy and Benjamina also picking up wins. And then we got these poor saps at the bottom. But there's still a long way to go yet. Right, we'll end the session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.